Have a look at that! Nice oh, screaming. That is unbelievable. Oh, nice hit. Well done. Oh. Look at that. Not a bad sight. Oh, mate. Hi, and welcome to Fishing WA. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're not chasing fish, we're chasing mud crabs. Now we're here at Wilderness Island, Exmouth. Great location. Now, today's windy. Doesn't mean you can't catch stuff. You can catch crabs with the hook. We've got a great show lined up all about how to target mud crabs to do it properly. Let's have a look at what's coming up. Wilderness Island is a private island situated in the Exmouth Gulf. Approximately 42 kilometers east of Exmouth Marina. The chalets offer a great night's sleep indeed, and what better view to eat your breakfast, lunch or dinner. With a quick bite to eat, Kim and I grabbed the crabbing gear and off we went. The plan is to jump onto the quad bike and see if I can get Harry's cousin Kim his first mud crab. With Jim's local knowledge, I'm sure we would find a few muddies, so let's get into it. Now I reckon we have a pause here mate, have a look at this mate, right behind me is Muddy Central. Look at these bunkers mate, now I know you're from Corridon, you're a farmer and I'm a city boy myself but you keep on talking about these mud crabs, are you a little bit keen or what? I'm pretty keen on getting a feed of muddies mate, don't worry about that. <laughs> Uh, you, your cousin's Harry, Harry's yep. a producer, Harry goes, Ryan, he wants a muddy, get him a muddy. So Harry's here now doing the usual thing, sort of girls blouse stuff, you know. Yeah, I think the bar's got him for the afternoon, mate. Yeah, yep. exactly, you know, he's a little bit soft, but uh, we like him nonetheless. But these bunkers here, I reckon, will produce some muddies. Main thing is walk up slowly, look inside, yep. use the hooks, get them out. Yep. You keen? I'm pretty keen, mate. I'm getting, I'm getting excited about some muddies. All right, let's do it, mate. Let's right. go. Now, Kim, I know you're so keen. Just hold off there, mate. We've got to be very careful. When you're trampling around on the ground, muddies can be scared. Look at that for a little bunker right there. Okay, so yeah. So you can no, see that deep good. hole. Yep. Now, I must be, I'm no expert at mud crabbing. I will say that. People like Jim and many other guys that live up north know their stuff. I don't. You're a country boy. I'm yep. a city boy. Yep. I'm going to show you how to obviously hook a few crabs. You're probably going to show me up, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. But see that there? There's a bunker. And yep. if I walk closely, let's just slowly walk closely. All I reckon right. I may see a claw. Hang on. Just. Very slowly. Yeah, see that claw? Right there. Oh yeah, there's one just there, mate. So he's yeah. actually not scared right now. He's actually in his hole, nice and safe. So you don't actually walk around too much, you're going to scare him. So I'm going to use this hook, which obviously Jim for Wilderness Island has given me, and hopefully, a city boy slash cocky boy here, we're going to get a few crabs. Let's get a feed of muddies, mate. Alright, so look, I'm going to slowly walk in. I'm used to catching fish, not crabs, mate, but I'll give this a go away. I'm going to put in slowly. Look Anybody, at that. mate, there he Straight is. Straight away. Nice. Might leave the bag out for a sec there if you don't mind. Yeah, so what yeah. I might do is just bring him out, just to show the general public all about mud crabs. It's nice and slowly. Everyone talks about watching fish in WA because they learn. You know what? It's not about just catching fish or catching muddies, it's about learning. Now, if you have a close look here, without me putting my fingers too close, and I'm not that stupid, <laughs> as you can see right now, I've put that hook that Jim gave me, basically right there around the claw. You can get them from the back, but in this case, I've actually caught him out, and there you go. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab my other, my other one right here. You're not taking off anywhere, my friend. I'm gonna put that over the top. Yep. Like that. You grab behind the swimmers here. Now, this one here has lost one swimmer, so I've only got one grab on him. Typical, the one crab that I get, I've got one grab only. And there you go. Nice, mate. How's that? In that beautiful light, I might just turn around here. For the viewers back at home, have a look at that. Exmouth mud crab, we're here on the uh, goal side. And if you want to stand back a little bit, let's put in the light. It's amazing, these, these crabs here have got a bit of purple, brown, and blue. So, a bit of a mixture of color, but the claw meat, look at that, so thick. Left and right, that weight is so important. If we're a little bit lean, I agree with Jim Olsen, put them back. They're lean. Put them back, let them grow and get obviously a bit more meat in them. This one here is heavy as, thick claws. This one is going to the, uh, into into the, the carry pot, bag. Into the pot for dinner tonight, mate. That's right, absolutely. Now, when we get a few more, put them in. Drop them in, mum. When we get a few more, 
so they don't fight and rip each other apart. We can actually pull off some mangrove branches, put them inside, that way they don't fight, and they don't lose their claws. How good is Wilderness Island? To find out more information about Fish and WA or just want to ask a question, like us on Facebook. <laughs>
The Fishing WA Extreme range is huge, from squidding to bottom bouncing to trolling to poppering to jigging, you name it, we've got it. Very well priced, ultra light. Check them out your nearest Extreme Tackle retailers or check them out online, extremetackle.com.au. looking at here? I think it's a muddy hole. It's the, it's the Kim <laughs> Muddy Hole. I think we need to... You're so uh, adamant, mate. I've never seen such a keen farmer, mate, wanting to actually get into muddies. I've been going on about them for a while. We, yeah. um, we're in the car what, for since the best Corrigan part of... Since or since Alexander Heights? The best part of two <laughs> days in the car. Mate, you got it. you legend. I thought Here amongst is, all those mangrove roots, you would have not got that one out. <laughs> a, we got him aboard, mate. mate. There he is. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. There you know what? You grab, you grab it, mate. Okay, so what Show around the back of these swimmers here, yeah? Show your locals back at home how you get a mud crab. Look at that. I mean, yeah, obviously they taste delish, but I must admit, it's a bit sort of boyish, but fun to catch. Too right, mate. Look, I'm uh, pretty keen to try a bit of chilli mud crab, so uh, let's find another den, mate. That's right, and as you know, but we're not here to rape and pillage. Keeping crabs is fine, keeping fish is fine, but keep what you need. Fresh is best. You don't need to obviously go to your bag limit. We're happy to just take home two or three, more than enough. I reckon we'll put that in the bag, mate. We'll yep. keep on walking, let's do it. Sounds good. You actually did very good. You actually got that muddy straight away. You did well. <laughs> oh, you nearly got done, mate. Keep mate, walking. Mate, path of the course of mud crabbing. Just try not to stand in their holes, yeah? Yeah. You might have a mud crab hanging off the end of your toe. All right, I've got a few of my mates that reckon that I don't get uh, down and dirty. Well, look at this, come on. I'm chasing get money. In there, Rhino. Yeah, thanks, mate. I'm into it. I reckon there might be a crab in there. That's a big bunker. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sounds good, mate. I heard the noise. Here it comes. Come on. They don't make it too easy, do they, mate? They, they don't make it easy, mate. Is that easy? Everyone will be doing it back at home. I must admit, people ask me about, you know, what's the enjoyment of when you're filming? You know, what do you enjoy about catching fish and everything else? It's always about the destination. Destination and the journey to that. You know, I enjoy catching fish, but, you know, when someone tells me, let's go and chase some muddies, man, I'm the first person on the quad bike to go and do it. You know what I mean? It's got a little bit of stuff in front there. I love it. And people back at home right now might not want to go and target muddies, but the whole idea is to actually show you what you can do and how you do it. So next time you're up north, up north, you can actually do this for yourself. And if you don't, don't know what you're missing out on. Now, I can keep on persisting if I want to, but the sun's starting to set, it's low tide, which is the best time to chase muddies, but now it should be incoming. So. I don't want to basically waste too much time, so I'm going to leave this den, this bunker, and hopefully find another muddy. Now, you might think, you know, you've got to be quiet for muddy sounds stupid. Not so. They can hear you coming. Right here is a bunker, muddy bunker. Looks, hopefully, inhabited. Now, you've got to be very, very careful as I go down on my knees here. On top of here is a deep bunker. Could go back maybe 10, 12 foot. So it's very soft, so if I walk on top, I'm gonna squash the bunker. Unfortunately, you're not gonna get your crab and also you destroy his home. Don't do it. So, smart. What I'm gonna do now is basically go in through the entrance, slowly hook him out, not walk around this soft bit here. It's that easy. To find out more information about Fish and WA or just wanna ask a question, like us on Facebook. <laughs> Every bunker can be different. It can be full of mangrove roots. In this situation, he's found a small, oh, I'm assuming he's in there, he's found a small hole, and he's actually buried himself into that hole and got rid of all this shell grit, this dirt, and found himself a nice little hole right in here. So, let's have a look. There you go, got him. He's not happy. He's coming out, Kimbo. Oh, he's a get big my, boy, mate. Get hey? my leaves. You got my leaves? Yeah, mate, I've got the leaves. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're both working well, mate. Good Look job. at that. <laughs> what we'll do, 
He's trying to stand behind me for a sec there. I'm just going to bring him. Well, you're Let not him going go, back. mate. You're not going back in there. <laughs> have a look at that. Something about muddies, mate, and I'll have to ask you a question in a sec there when I get this bad boy and girl under control. Don't fight me. Don't fight me. What you do is you put over, let's come back behind me here. I'm gonna show them in the light as well. Oh yeah. I'm not stupid. Don't. There you go, he's an angry boy. There you go. Now I have to ask him. Yes, mate. I said to Harry, what's this sort of fetish you've got with muddies? What makes you want to come here to uh, Woodness Island? I know you want to catch fish, but to actually get muddies. Look, mate, I just think muddies are the absolute pinnacle of seafood, you know? Just, uh, I've always dreamed about getting uh, a feed of muddies, and look, here we are. So, can't wait to see what they taste like. Absolutely, I mean, I enjoy eating blue manners, right? Blue man crabs are my favourite, but if you ask me what's sort of the sweetest, yeah. I'd have to say mud crabs, yeah. especially the claws, the body's great as well, especially when you uh, put them in a wok and do uh, you know, some sort of uh, chilli mud crab. Pretty sweet, mate, those claws. Mate, I reckon we're gonna eat well. Now, we have got a lot of muddies already, when I say a lot, we've yep. got a few in that bag already. Yep. I reckon we do the right thing, release this boy girl, because we're not here to do the wrong thing. We've got to feed. Your lucky day, doesn't happen too often, but <laughs> don't spoil this area. We'll do. I'm gonna let you go back to your home. You got lots of viewers out there saying, don't do it, don't do it. Exactly, and you know what, we're happy to keep crabs we have to keep fish, goodbye. There he goes. But the best thing about it is doing the right thing by the, uh, the environment, you know what I mean? We're here to obviously get a feed of crabs and fish, whatnot, but don't spoil it. How good is that? Mate, that sun is setting, mate. So yeah. I know you're keen, we, we've got a couple already. I reckon it's your last uh, chance, mate, the last bunker. Right, hey, let's go. Looks like a pretty good one just here. Actually, that's quite nice, isn't it? It is a nice bunker. I hope Harry enjoys baked beans, mate, because I reckon that's all he can have tonight for dinner. That's Stay all he deserves. Minute. Got to get right in there with this one. I think I might have him over the claw here. No, I haven't. Now I'm going to go and get a few more mangrove roots, mate, so I'm going to leave you to it, mate. Right. So it's all, it's all to you, mate. Here we come. Oh, that's big. That's big. He's a big boy. Ryan, you might have to grab us a long uh, bit of rod there, mate. I don't really want to stick my hand right in that hole. Right, I'll grab it right now, mate. The size of those claws I just saw, I'd like my fingers. <laughs> Okay, Rhino, I've finally got this guy. Mate, you work so I've hard had a bit for that of a crab. Battle. <laughs> I've had a bit of a battle with him. But have a look at that. He's still stuck on that little mangrove root there. Mate, that is a bad boy. Well yep. done. Hey, Ryan, just one thing, mate. You mentioned grabbing the crab at the back of the swimmers here. Um, with the blue, blue swimmer crab, I went straight for underneath the uh, abdomen there. Just explain to everyone why that's a big no-no, mate. Absolutely, mate. Yeah, basically, yeah. These crabs are pretty smart. They can actually go underneath their body and above their body. So if you get them behind the swimmers right here, they can't claw you. So well done. But mate, I'm worried. That sun is running out and yep. we've got to get back to the uh, camp. So uh, I reckon one more nest All right. and we got to go. Let's do it. Okay, mate. Well, mate, what's uh, your first experience like? Mate, this, muddies. Is, uh, this is fantastic. Um, managed to land a few muddies. Looks like we got dinner sorted, mate. What about Harry? <laughs> mate, none for you, Harry. I don't care. You might produce a show, mate, but we've obviously caught the crabs, mate. What an awesome arvo. Now, the wind's up. You're here at uh, different islands you can go to to get muddies. There's not one better spot, but uh, this cheeky little creek on low tide out for Woodness Islands produce. Thanks to Jim for obviously getting us onto the muddies. He said, go there, hook them, boys, you'll get onto them. And obviously, the uh, quad bike made it nice and easy. Yeah, yeah. So, we've had an awesome arvo. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Fishing WA.